What's the day today? World Bamboo Day. Silly, I want to know the day, yeah. Sunday, Monday. It's International Red Panda Day today. Wow, that is such a coincidence. It's World Bamboo Day as well as International Red Panda Day today. And the red panda's favorite food is bamboo leaves and bamboo shoots. What is this red panda business? All pandas are black and white. Exactly. There's nothing like red panda. Hello? Red panda very much exists. Cute looking creatures covered in cinnamon colored fur found in parts of Asia. I do have one with me. In fact, I can show it to you right now. Kuch bhi. Okay, wait. Kuch bhi. Very funny. If this is red panda, then I am also red panda. Mad only you both are. Ali, understand the logic. I am wearing red clothes, so you will call me lady in red. Now, this panda is wearing red clothes, so he is panda in red. So a red panda. Kya logic hai bhai? Very good. Aise peeje le liye na? Bamboo se pittai honi chahiye tum dono ki. So mean ya. Red, lal, bamboo, marna. Mujhe to gana hi yaad a gaya. Lal ne chadi, maidan ne khadi. Kya khub ladi, kya khub ladi. Hum dil se gaye, hum jaan se gaye. Bas aankh mili aur baat badhi. Lal chadi, maidan ne khadi. Red pandas have a specific habitat requirement with respect to their staple food which is bamboo. And these breeds are getting more and more disturbed due to increasing human activities. Red pandas are found in the mountains of Nepal, central China and northern Myanmar in rainy, high altitude temperature forests and tropical forests according to the National Zoo. They are also found in India, Sikkim, Western Arunachal Pradesh, Darjeeling district of West Bengal and in parts of Meghalaya. It is also the state animal of Sikkim. Though they share their name with the giant black and white panda, these animals are not closely related to each other in any way. In fact, the name panda was first given to this bamboo eater, charming mammal and later to the black and white bear. The red panda was first described way back in 1825 by a French zoologist and this was 48 years before the giant black and white panda was classified. Frederick Cuvier, attached to the San Diego Zoo, described it as the most beautiful animal he had ever seen and named it Eleris fulgens, meaning fire-colored or shining cat. The common name panda may have been derived from the Nepalese word Naiki Ponya, which probably meant bamboo-footed. Later on, because similarities were discovered between the giant panda and the red panda, the black and white bear started being referred to as panda. Other names for the red panda include lesser panda, cat bear, bear cat, Himalayan raccoon, fox bear and firefox according to the San Diego Zoo. The mascot for the firefox web browser is a red panda according to Mozilla. Red pandas were initially classified as relatives of raccoons in the Procyonidae family because of physical similarities such as the head, teeth and ringed tail according to the Smithsonian National Zoo. Later, because of some DNA similarities to bears, they were classified as bears in the Ursidae family. Recent genetic research places them in their own family Eruridae. They have no living relatives and their nearest fossil ancestors lived 3 to 4 million years ago. 
one important factor to their habitat is bamboo the forest must have a layer of bamboo vegetation for it to be viable for the red panda according to the observations conducted by the national zoo bamboo consists of 85 to 95 percent of their diet red pandas eat bamboo shoots and bamboo leaf tips stripping them off the stems with their mouth they may also look for roots grasses and fallen fruits sometimes they will eat eggs insects birds and small mammals as well but they mostly stick to bamboo the red panda is now considered endangered and is on the IUCN's red list of threatened species. There are worldwide efforts now to protect the red panda. World Bamboo Day was officially established on 18 September 2009 at the 8th World Bamboo Congress held at Bangkok in 2009. The Thai Royal Forest Department declared that the primary goal of this day is to raise awareness about the benefits of this fast-growing grass plant and to promote its use in everyday products keeping in mind environment and economy. Scientifically speaking, bamboo is not a tree but more of a grass. However, according to the Indian Forest Act 1927, it is considered to be tree. Thus, cutting bamboo and transporting it was considered unlawful. But in year 2017, after 90 years, the act was amended and bamboo is not a tree anymore under the same. The uses of bamboo are many. Construction, furniture, food, biofuel, fabrics, cloth, paper, pulp, charcoal and ornamental garden planting, just to name a few. Bamboo is an abundant tropical plant and its material distribution, low cost, easy accessibility and microstructural shapes makes it an excellent material to build woody houses all across the world. Greetings from Lively Mom Squad. It's been quite an interesting research for us working on these two special days, the International Red Panda Day and the World Bamboo Day. It's been good fun putting all this together to create this video for all you lovely people out there. We really hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed creating it for you. We look forward to your support and your valuable comments and feedback. It really encourages each one of us. Do like and share the video and also please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do click the bell icon so that you are notified about our next video. Thank you, take care and stay safe.